Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I might take explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Um, I, for anyone who doesn't live in Texas, Mm-mm. they don't know about H-E-B, the grocery store. Um, Yeah, yeah. You know, a mid-level grocery store. It's a, I mean, people in Texas will fight you for that, but. It's know. no Publix. It's no Wegmans. Yeah, I've never been to either of those, so I don't have a dog in the fight. Publix is probably the best grocery store I've ever been in in my life. Yeah, there was this one in Minnesota called Byerly's, and it was literally like it was carpeted. Byerly's. Yeah, it was. It was a car. It had carpet on the floor. Okay. Okay. And I was like, I walked in that B, like, and I was like, oh, this is not my grocery store. <laughs> I love, I love fancy grocery stores. They make you pay a little bit more, but they always. They always hook it up. They keep the riffraff out, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, so I mean, the thing about H-E-B, though, that I think people in Texas love, and maybe it's, like, almost uh, everything in it, like the produce and the meat, that's all Texas-sourced. Yeah. So even, like, during COVID, where, like, Walmart had, like, no groceries, H-E-B had stock. Like, because they sourced everything from Texas, it was far, it was easier to get. Like, um, but, so they have, they have weekly coupons. Okay, okay. And, uh, you know, it, it'll be a lot of, like, you know, buy this product, get this product free. And a lot of times they go together. It'll be like, buy H-E-B brand salsa, get a free bag of H-E-B brand chips. Yeah, I, no, that's why we have, like, 13 bottles of dishwashing liquid underneath Well, that the was, a, that was the, well, I was getting, sometimes they don't make sense. <laughs> where it was like, I, I used this particular seasoning when I cook chicken. It was like, buy the seasoning, get free dishwashing detergent. And I happened to be buying, like, six bottles of it because I was mixing, I mixed it together to make it yeah, to have yeah. rub for it so i got six free <laughs> bottles of it's dishwash bad. soap that still are sitting and then somehow we have bought more of them since that we didn't even need so i have to say is that the one thing that heb has that i don't see out of most of grocery stores and I, honestly i do i wish i did especially back home in cleveland is that that connection to the community is that like if you're a grocery store that's in that that one area that's a mainstay you invest back into the community i don't see that out of a lot of businesses and heb is they're synonymous with that in texas yeah well one thing they did in austin they had this thing in austin called blues on the green where like in the in the metro park uh downtown they would have uh, free concerts like just not oh, yeah? like famous bands but blues or whatever okay um and it was going to end this year and heb donated money to keep it going it's been going for like 30 some years and look, heb kept it alive look so they're moving up in my ranks i'm telling you they're yeah. number three if Publix wasn't so nice yeah <laughs> Because <laughs> Publix is really nice. <laughs> I've never been to one. I need I now. I need to go on an adventure. So, anyways, the whole reason I bring this up, I was looking at what their specials were. Well, actually, I wasn't. I gave credit to a friend. A friend sent me this. Fair enough. So they sometimes they have wild coupons like buy Heinz ketchup, get Sharpie markers free. Like you know, it's just random stuff. All right, bet. So, <laughs> so this one was buy just for men. Beard or hair color. Okay. Just for men. Just for men, which for you don't know if it's like, it's just to help help men with gray hair get their natural color back, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm aging gracefully. What? Thank you. Get a free four ounce bottle of Astro Glide. You get lube with it. You get free lube. So if you buy that, that, that pair, how does that pairing not make sense? It does make sense. It's just <laughs> funny as hell. It makes so much sense. Yeah. It's like, if you get, you get rid of your grays, you're going to go get some ass. Or it says, if you're old enough that you need to cover your grays, maybe your woman needs some lube too. Yeah. So, <laughs> or, you know, you have a device that, you know, you know, you need a little extra. You know, look, man. <laughs> All I'm saying is that if you're the guy picking that shit up, it says something about you too. Like, there's a lot of red flags that can be going off here that you can check. But is it red? Is it red? Does I, it make it red? I want to know the guy who decided that this would be a funny idea because somebody did this. This is curated. Oh, yeah. Like, I imagine, what you know, they sit around. They're like, well, what, what products do we need to get rid of? He's like, we got a lot of lube, sir. He's like... <laughs> We got a lot of lube, sir. He's like, funny enough, lube ain't flying off the shelf in Texas. <laughs> I don't know what that even means. <laughs> it made sense to me. He's like, what can we pair with the lube? He's like, we got a lot of just for men, sir. <laughs> 
There's a lot of old guys and a lot of boomers in town, I hear. Mm-hmm. Oh. What they should have done is buy tortilla chips, get free lube. I mean, look and look. Listen. What is that? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, my God. I went through a whole range of emotions there. I could tell. That was You're like, ra- yeah, was- what? Uh, 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 uh. That was a classy race joke. I loved it. I wasn't even a race joke. What? No. How is it? Wait. Hold on. Time out. How was it a race joke? I thought you were saying that Mexicans like to have sex. <laughs> only, tortilla chips. How is only? How, why do you associate tortilla chips with only Mexicans? I, okay. So listen. Listen. This is. I want to. There's a. There's a roundabout. So okay, in my mind, go. I was thinking Mexicans all have dark colored hair so if you have dark colored hair you're going to notice the gray more so obviously you're already pushing it just for men to those people who need it the people with darker colored hair because if you're blonde listen if we're all blonde hair blue eyes we go gray we wouldn't even care red redheads can even do it gracefully too but if when you have like black hair brown hair like me and you (sighs) When I have a white hair growing my mustache, it sticks out like this is like bing. Exactly, like, you notice it. And so, and there's a lot of Hispanics in the area, and it's it's natural to have dark hair. So it, it you're selling it to to them, and then you said that, and I thought you were going to. The, I don't know, man. Listen, I mean, it's it's fine where your mind goes. No, it's all right. Yeah, I mean, it's I'm cool. not the problem. I'm an ally. <laughs> How am I a problem? I lost said was. It, but listen, I'm not weird. You're being weird. It's <laughs> weird that you think I'm weird. If you think I'm weird, you stop being weird. You're Maybe weird I'm... to think that I'm weird, no, you weirdo. Weird. You weird, 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 weird. Have we said it 11 times yet? Does Let's... that mean Beetlejuice comes? <laughs> what happens if you say weird 11 times? <laughs> you summon JD Vance. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Did you see the video where someone tried to give him a fist bump and he just like grabbed their hand? <laughs> I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> I did this shit like, a, like are, two are you, weeks ago. Are you JD Vance? Bro, I'm awkward as hell. All right, look, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> even going to this bump, you're just like, yeah, dog. I do not understand human interactions whatsoever. <laughs> which, which, I don't know what you go out, I would not believe that. I know, I fake it really well, right? Yeah, you're like a, you're like, are you like a android with a, the proper, uh, uh it's really easy when you can just like, uh, you, you know, like, comment and humor and you just ask people questions and you let them talk i mean that's literally how you socialize you just make jokes and ask people about themselves but no because then it's like a test you got to remember everything they say says who that's hard to remember you stuff don't remember anything. you gotta remember stuff that night I, yeah but if he's like what if if he's like uh juggalo for life how are you gonna forget that so what i've learned through human interaction and study of humans is that if you remember a person's name they really respect that so that's the only thing you really have to remember and that's the one thing i'm terrible at and one so does that mean i don't care about anyone i don't know <laughs> i don't know so you you learn their name and you learn maybe one aspect about that name to associate it's like dealing with twitch chat like Jeff and Jeff's an a-hole because Jeff suck. No, yeah, Jeff sucks or Jeff's from Pennsylvania. That's all you need to know. If you know he's from Pennsylvania, think of everything you know about Pennsylvania. JP, bring be up like, anything. Oh, ha ha ha! The Eagles, bro. Yeah, if he's from Pennsylvania, he knows Wegman's the best. Oh, Wegman's or second the, best. Wegman's public. is the bestman's. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know, man. I like, uh, I like H E B, and I'm sad that you don't think they're good. I think they're okay. You but used I feel to like say I'm not going there. I you used, used to refuse. You went to, to Walmart and got old Walmart. produce. What? Yeah. Stop. <laughs> Why don't you tell us about that salad you'd get from Walmart shipped shipped from Connecticut to Texas? Stop. New York City. <laughs> Listen, I've never been a conformist. All right, <laughs> but I'm learning. I'm learning. Either, Sometimes either. it isn't conformity; it's just better quality. <laughs> I mean, look, they got these little sandwiches, man. Yeah, they yeah, got they got all sushi. They got little jalapeno turkey jack sandwiches. They, yeah, and they're good, huh? They are. Yeah, they got. Yeah, man, they got all sorts of stuff. They make yeah, it fresh every day. Yeah. They make tortilla chips. They got brisket. Oh, they got salads. little like. Uh, Fried rice and shrimp bowls, like man, they got the stuff. Yeah, poke stops. Yeah, their poke bowls you said were garbage though. Yeah, but their sushi is decent. I mean, it's not as good as like a restaurant, but for picking up for grocery store sushi, they got a person behind the counter making it every every day, putting it out there for you. 
whatever. My people in Publix, you know what you're doing, all right? Texas could learn a if thing If you know or two. Publix, put it out in the comments, please. If so, you, which one is better, Publix, Wegmans? What'd you say? H E B. Nobody knows. What, Nobody was, knows what was the other one you said with carpet? What? Oh, but buyer? No, they closed. Buyerly's? They, were, they were stupid. All right, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Walmart. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas TNT. We're out.